for the derivative of the secant x, but we can go ahead and just set this up and prove it. So it's easier to use the quotient rule and have this set up as one over cosine of x. So using the quotient rule, we'll take the derivative on the, of the top. So in this case, uh, it's gonna be zero. That looks horrible. So zero times the bottom minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, which in this case is negative sine of x, divided by the, uh, the, the denominator squared, so cosine squared x. So this becomes, this goes to zero, the two negatives cancel out, we get to sine of x over, and I'm gonna break this down to cosine of x, cosine of x. So this gets its own special portion, this will just be over one, so we end up with um, tangent secant or secant x tangent x. And that's it. All right, I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching the video and you have yourself a great day.